What's up guys? So I'm gonna be showing y'all guys how to assemble your uh, computer if you disassembled it already, like took out the hard drive like I did. Um, I already put back the um, the Ray Link, which if you do not know what a Ray Link is, it's a um, it's a Wi-Fi adapter. So I put that back in. Had to screw it. And also, ha you have to put in the thing. Let's see, it just pops straight out. Pops straight out. You can also put it in the other one, which I do not recommend putting it in the other one unless you want your computer to die without Wi Fi. Oh. So it just popped back in. So make sure tuck in the wires. Also, I took out the little sticker that's on it. This is a DVD. So, about my DVD, if you're actually wondering why it's so scratched up, it's because. It's a piece of crap. It doesn't work no more. It, it's dead, okay? It, it's just dead. So, first of all, we're gonna start off with the hard drive. So, it, this is pretty easy and simple to put in your hard drive. Just like that. Make sure that all the things are aligned. See, it's not aligned right here. They're not going to be aligned. So, now with the cord that goes to it. Well, let me just focus in. So, you will have these little prong looking things. So, this is just to keep the wires from poking out. So, all you have to do is just push it in. Then do the same in Let's see now they should be tucked in now for this just correct it then just did you hear that click so if you heard the click that's good that means it's clicked in so I have a little tab right here that everyone has to pull up on it. Alright, uh, now for the screws. Screws are pre pretty much easy. Just like that. Never mind. On. I would just Damn it. This is the problem about it. They always like to just bounce back up. Let me just like flat down. So also my fingers are pretty big, so it's also a factor in that. I usually kinda screw it in a little bit with my fingers. Sometimes that won't work. See, yep, not working out. Hold on, so let me just take my screwdriver over here. It also has a knife and a lot of other tools on it. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Let me just focus in. Got all the screws back in. If you lift that, that's what shows the hard drive under. But, 
yeah, mine's a blue hard drive. Which, practically every single hard drive is a different color. Mine just is blue. Now, for the DVD player. So, before we do this, let me just turn on my flashlight. That's the inside. I can see a few wires. But, but, um, I have to find out how to actually fix my hard drive. Not my hard drive, never mind. But, um, DVD player. I mean, I could do it. I could fix it by just buying a new one, but I'm on a low budget now. All I have is $5. See, there's a lot of dust in here. That's how old this thing is. God, I just take out dust. See, that's a thick dust. It's a lot of dust. A whole lot. But, now, going for a hard drive. I, God dang it. I keep calling it a hard drive. I'm stupid. That's why. Goes. Leave this way, maybe. No, wrong way. Should slide in. That. Now. Screw pile right here. Put it in right here. Right here. Yep. I usually screw it in with my fingers a little bit. Before using my screwdriver. See, like that. Then I use my screwdriver. Just. just screw it in. I usually have to use two hands. So hold on. Okay, so I just screwed it in. That's how you know. See. I could just do this. Won't budge. I guess you can see a little bit of it. Move. But, that's fine. Alright, so now, two more screws left. Two more. If you're wondering what those screws are for, for right here, which I've got to put back in. Hold on. Okay, so now for this part, you have to make sure everything hooks up perfect. See? That's a crack from a long time ago that I did when I was doing that. So I believe that's the that's the fan right there. Yes, it is. That is a fan. You could probably see it through here. Maybe. Geez, that's rust. That's rust in there. That's how old this thing is. So now. Screws already in here, so all I need to do is just screw it back in. So, so all right, hold on. So I'm back. Well, last part is for assembling it. It's for this part. So this part's 
well, not tricky, but it kind of, it kind of can be though, because it's hard to just put everything, just make everything click in. See, like, see, I clicked in all these. It's just this one. one's just a pain in my butt all the time and when I do that watch this it won't click in so I have to usually do it at an angle or just like that now push it just like that. Like this. Now, the last screw. The screw of the day. The screw of the day, well. So. Uh, hold on. Wait until I... Do this so guys this is how you assemble it when you disassemble it so let's see if it actually works actually be surprising if it did wow actually turned on holy crap It actually works, holy crap. See, this is Windows 7, if you didn't know. Can't see my face now. Can't see my face now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And this was how you assemble a crappy computer that you really hate. Or it doesn't even turn on. All you have to do is just disassemble it and then assemble it right back and it'll work. So, actually, it does work. As my cow on it. See how it's a crap computer? It has scratches, it has cracks in it, just scratches everywhere. Also, I believe a few of the keys don't work. I have no clue. But, anyways, if y'all enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to get notified. Tell me in the comment section what video you want me to make next. I'm not going to be making another symbol video, but I might make a disassemble video instead of assemble like I did now but anyways if you all like this subscribe to the channel this is a ethernet card that I could probably use on my um old computer in there that dog peed on and now it doesn't work so I'm gonna probably modify that thing and make it into a real gaming computer but anyways see you guys in next video